hawa kwa sasa tuende kwa topic yetu ya kwanza kwa leo ambayo tunaongea kuhusu hali ya usalama nchini ya tumekuwa na kesi za insecurity sana na swali ya kwanza ambayo nataka kuuliza ni wewe kama mkenya how safe do you feel unasikenga usalama wako ukiwa kwa hali gani hata nikiwa kwa nyumba nikiwa kezani bado kuna vile saa zingine unasikia the shots a few shots each and every night so pretty much nikifika kwa nyumba ndo na feel a sigh of relief of cut but uh, still i'm not sure of my security nini unaogopa kabisa uh stray bullets stray bullets au vile tunabeba mizigo kutoka town kuleta hapa ilikuwa ni shida kwa sababu ya mungiki ukifika pale uwezi chukua mizigo yako na upatie ule mtu unataka kupatia kazi inalingana wapigie simu ndio ukuje hapa wa kutolea mizigo lakini at least sasa tunaona ya bit better kulingana na hii tishio ya kifo cha usama unajua au ni kundi lingine advanced na sasa vile hasa kuna hofu ya au kulitariet sasa nitakana serikali iongeze security zaidi hata kuliko hapa uh, generally kitambo ilikuwa ngaka yole ilikuwa na kwa hizi mamungiki nini nini lakini now they is at least improve jo sometimes hata unaweza toka nini kaa hivi saa sita unusu midnight kama ndio kwa jiboli hivyo kaa uefa lakini unatembea tu mpaka kwa nini kwa room siku hizi at least wame improve sio kaa vile sasa osama vile amenguswa naona sasa kama wa Kenya wako kwa hivyo security inafaa kuangaliwa sana upande huu mwanainchi mkenya awe sei mimi bado naogopa tu kuhusu maneno ya usama juu nikisikia hata ndege usiku najua kumeharibika <laughs> naambia watoto tukaeni mali pamoja tufe tu tukiwa kama tumeshikana juu ende ikawa usama yuko hapa hapa kayole <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Kuna kuna any security measures umechukua wewe kama mwananchi kwa nyumba yako security wangu ni Mungu Mm-hmm. Before the game is yet the gavel going je kwa nyumba lazima security yako personal kwa nayo hiyo ni kwa ensure at least umeshatizo nini za kopo hiyo security ni lazima tu milango milango zako ume Mi still double then si atizima nini shot in a ni so okay na uko na karungu bahali filimbi drisha kwanza nime kuna vile nimefunga kwanza na make sure nimefunga kwa kasa hii Alafu chini ya bed pia kuna mabia eh mpaka ni jiami vizuri. Alafu kwa doa pia kuna mandoku skada. So inabidi pia kwa jiami kwanza. Mazee mimi sijachukua maisha yote. Japokuwa wakati mwingine nilikuanga na panga chini ya bed. Lakini niliwahi niliweza kuitoa. Sasa saa hii niko tu kwa mkono ya Mungu. Atem zangu nimeweka waya. Sababu nimebiwa curtain sana. Umekaa tu nyumbani na watch TV mpaka mchana mkono anakuja curtain. Sasa curtain zangu nimezitungilia msumari hapo juu. Hawata niibia curtain tena. Okay, so let's kumekuwa na threats kutoka kwa Al Shabab. Yeah, the terror group ya Al Shabab. Na kama over Easter walikuwa wamesema kwamba wata bomb certain places eh, na wata attack. Imekuwa imekuwa ikisemekana sana sana. Pia tukiangalia another case of insecurity, you see uh, uyu the former Kiganjo uh, ya yeah? yeah. uh, aliwawa kwa nyumba yake stab alisikia tu mlango umegonga kufungua he was stab kuna watu hapo on e road kiserian road sio wamewawa wakamwagiwa acid as in unasikenga hizi cases over and over again ukisikia hizi kesi ni nini kinakujanga in your mind una kutoka hizo kufanyika there's something behind it so at least the security of us and afar to get to the bottom of it wa jio nini nini what led to the someone to do such a thing Yeah, on the threats of Al Shabab no na it's cliche that to me say Al Shabab they do big and weird stuff but uh, no na they're not much of a threat. Na kama wale vijana walichukua huko ole polos wakamwagi wasi. Unajua ni sema msichana wangu pia alikuwa kwa hiyo njia. Nilikuwa na uzuni sana. Ukiimagine mtu anachukuliwa anaenda na mwagi wa acid watu wake wa juma liuko sasa ndio baadaye alafu ndio serikali sasa ndio wataanza kufanya uchunguzi mtu akishachomeka amepotea amekufa sasa na justice wazazi tuna uzuni sana okay tutaendelea na imada lakini kwa sasa wacha tuangalie a small insert to me prepare ikiwa na maelezo zaidi Kadara district uh, so far has pertains security we are stable and uh, so far we have not had any big problem and uh, this have been brought about by the many barazas that have been 
made by the district security committee, the members of the public interact with the police and uh, volunteer information as they occur within their estates and uh, where they reside. Community policing has been the best way uh, of having the best security within a stated area. And during the barazas that has always been uh, headed by the provincial administration and the security teams, uh, this has been highlighted every other time and uh, the members of the public have been enlightened on how to do that one. And we have always exchanged our mobile numbers so that even if somebody does not come where you are, he can uh, call you so that you can rush quickly to go and cover that menace. As pertains security in general, and more so for the so-called uh, threats from uh, militias that are surrounding our country, I would actually tell our, our residents to be worried and uh, be very careful with such threats. And they are, th they are real, otherwise we should not take them uh, lightly and uh, we should also be very careful. Nataka, your thoughts on what Ishmael has just said? This is in Enderea. Na unakuta, hakuna hata serikali polisi hata mmoja hamefika malipare. Unakuta hata ile kitu inaendelea raja wanaangaria tu hivi. Na unakuta kutu wananyeswa, wananyanganywa, na nadhurumiwa. Kwa hivyo kwangu, badu awachatosha. Vitu sikuizi wekua high-tech. Kwa hizi sikuizi wanatumia mbinu za, mbinu mpya za kuiba. Na polisi badu napata tu wako kwa na, na zile mbinu za 1960s. Sasa kila wakati, kisa ikitendeka, unapata police information, anapata, anaweza kupata hata bada ya siku mbili. Kitu ilifanyika juzi, jendi anasikia saizi. Sasa polisi bado wako nyuma sana. Pale pale ambapo unaishi, huo unaona wakipiga patrol, ha? yani unafeel secure kiwaona hata hao wenyewe. Pale ni meishi, nijamini ni meishi NASA. Nijua <laughs> NASA estate. Nyuma ya niko mazimbo pandile, alafu nyuma pandi huu. Makanga huwa wanaka hapo. Sasa hile kitumuo na polisi wanafanya na makanga ni mbio kimbishana. Sasa sijua huu kimbishani ya nini. Sasa imagine sasa zingine polisi waneza kwa metuwa hiyo bunduki yake. Na mtu kama mimi naenda soko ni kutane nao. Wawajilie si watu kwa wamenimaliza. Na watu wangu kwa nyumba taa wajui wamejua mamia menda soko. Walianzisha community policy. Sasa sawa yeah. ambako wewe mkua supposed kukua wewe ndo unaangalia ni nini endelea pale mtaani kama unajua kuna mtu mwizi unafaa ku report hizo cases yeah. ni nini ilifanyika kwa community policing by, uh, by that community policing failed okay me as i said it failed because of when you give out the, the information the same same cops what i give out that information edi ni kolonda alipeana information to the guys after so unajua utachukuliwa kama snitch after after being a snitch you will be victimized yeah kwa hivyo unasema wizi trust police forces where you can trust the information kama hiyo uh, it's, it's quite difficult cuz peer women are in danger cuz bado yeah so i can't unaona kama vigilante groups peer wako responsible in the rise of insecurity in our country the vigilante is like which kwa a group of young guys no not just see young guys we have so much energetic so 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 much energetic but you don't have work you do have a place to channel your energies to so the best thing to do, lazima pia mini kule, lazima ni nare, lazima ni do all my stuffs. Yeah, so I'll have to get a way of earning my income. So I'll have to get a way of earning my income. Obviously, the police are not going to get a job. They are not going to get a job. So, I don't have a job. I don't have a job. The police are going to get a job. They are going to get a job. They are going to get a job. What's the way forward? The number of corruption is sana inge sinkatiwa kwanza kwa nchi hii imalizo na kila mtu atakuwa na mashaka wakati anatoa jambo kwa polisi atakuwa anajua hakuna corruption yoyote huyu mtu akishikwa hakuna vile atarudi amrudi ule mtu alitoa ile shit naona sasa city ya makarao jua gigo happens they really know exactly what has happened and now inaweza kukudetailia everything these guys are real clever then what goes wrong what if i ask you in the first place maybe they already know what, what already happened mm -hmm. and what transpired. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then, our to and then, CC, is that the case? They don't tell us. Maybe it's just, just the systems that are in place mm -hmm. that are not working for us. A lot needs to be done. For yeah. yeah. those responsible, the government, you know, Ministry of Security, please. Yeah? What to am going to say? I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to
mwizi wacha kusema ati nikipeleka kwa polisi itaishia hapo wapeleka it your duty umeifanya yeah? and at least utakuwa unajua sikuchangia kuficha wizi au sio hayo ndo maoni ya watu kwa matatu na kwa sasa JB yeah we're going to the streets mm-hmm. hoping maoni zao hazijaibiwa they are still intact matatu hii nchi yetu hasa kama wewe umtoa kibira hatuna usalama kabisa kulingana na hayo tunaona pia mambo tofauti tofauti ambayo inatendeka kama wisu wa usiku vijana kufunja manyumba setu wakati umeenda kasini security nowadays iko iko tight JNSSF NSF NSSF ndio wanafanya hizo stuff zote which yenye na wa congratulate ilinyongwa na wanaume watatu ngawekwa chini sasa akaniweka tu kofi kupiga nduru mwingine akaleta mdomo akaniweka mdomo singeweza kupiga nduru watu wako na wazi wazi na watu wana wazi wazi wengi wanatishia watu juu wana wizi wako naye ndani yao juu wanajifanya kuna watu wanakuja kumbe wao wanataka wafanye vitu waacha kuchukua watu bure sasa namna hii tunataka imani kweli na tukue na security na ufisadi ishe